Welcome back guys. So we are going to be doing a few things to the truck in this video. And on top of those things that we're going to be doing to the truck, I'm also going to be releasing the powder coat color. So I really wanted you guys to get some type of reward or something like that. Not really reward, but just like you guys are sitting here watching my 15, 25 minute videos. For me to release it on TikTok to somebody that takes them 30 to 60 seconds to find something out like this that other people have been watching on YouTube my entire actual videos. I feel like it's kind of cheating. So I'm gonna let you guys know first beforehand and that is how we're gonna keep things. This is where I want you guys to come for the big news. Unless you wanna wait like a week or two on TikTok because I'm not gonna let anyone know for another few weeks because that just seems fair to me. But we are currently waiting on my buddy Colton Garvin to drop off a set of wheels for the truck. It is just gonna be kind of a roller set. Well, shout out to my buddy, Colton. You are a freaking lifesaver. Thank you, dude. Without him, dude, I would honestly be screwed. Not really screwed. I would just have to go buy a set, which I was trying to refrain from because obviously I sold the old wheel and tire setup and I was gonna buy some wheels just to run for a little bit. And then I'm like, well, I'd rather just put that towards uh, an actual set of wheels. Okay, so I just ended up doing that. So Colton came in, saved me. Let me borrow his wheels. I'm gonna hopefully have it back to him Sunday or that Saturday night. Just depends on how late we get it back and everything. And then it'll be back like this, like as if it never moved. And so speaking of wheels, I wanna let you guys know that the color that we are choosing is gonna be something kind of unexpected, something you guys wouldn't really think about. But before I kind of explain that color, the reason that I chose that color specifically is because you guys have probably seen in the background when I'm painting videos and stuff in my garage over there. I like antiques. I collect antiques and stuff like that. And one of the kind of things in antiques that I collect are coins. I have, you know, Indian head pennies, I have Buffalo nickels, I have Liberty dimes, I have all different types, sorts of coins and stuff like that. Some from different countries. And so because of that, that's kind of what helped me choose the bronze in the beginning because this is kind of like a dirty rusty penny type of a bronze was what kind of helped me decide that color and i know some people say it looks orange but with this color it just looked like orange in bright videos but when it's dark like this kind of looks like bronze and that's the color that's supposed to be so then that's how i got the bronze picked kind of a coin background and then we ended up choosing the powder coat color and the wheel finish of a brushed wheel now the brush wheel is kind of like a silvery color if you haven't seen them they i guess would look like a refrigerator like the texture on that kind of i don't know it's like a dark silvery kind of a color and the reason i went with that is obviously because it kind of looks like a dime or like a nickel like kind of like a dirty coin like that or a dirty nickel in a sense so that kind of helped me make my decision and i had that and another color kind of picked out because i wasn't sure what i wanted to do and what kind of helped me also is i was scrolling through instagram a few months back and so as i'm scrolling i see one of my buddies right here and he's got a new setup on his truck. Well, it's the color that I decided to go with that was felt like a sign to me. It's just like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I see that. I'm like, that has to be a sign. So sorry, Stinson, if you think I'm copying you, I promise I'm not, I'm not gonna go with the same wheel. I'm not gonna go with the same tire. I'm gonna go with a different setup, obviously, and I'm gonna powder coat differently. So we will look slightly similar, but I'm not gonna copy you at all. Speaking of the devil. There's the man himself. Shoot, he's got a trailer. Oh, yeah, I forgot he's got a flatbed. So that that doesn't really help. That probably would slide around. But that's the man right there. Yeah, check out my sick pond right there. Yeah, I know. It's pretty pretty awesome. I could use $150 to put it towards that, but I'd rather uh, spend it on truck stuff. Work truck, boy. Thank you, Colton. Very much appreciate you. We got the wheels, boys, and then we got our lights. And we're ready to go. See you later, homie. Thank you very much. And so, see, guys, the good thing about CNZ Mod wheel lights is they're freaking insanely bright. I got plenty of light to uh, work on my truck right now outside in the beautiful elements because I'm poor and I can't afford a shop like the rest of you guys. So, this is a kind of like a poor man's tutorial on how to do stuff without a garage. Okay, maybe not poor man, but like a guy with a normal job that is trying to build a cool truck on a budget. But yeah, boy, no, man, I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty good. 37 on my truck. I think he said it was a 20, 
22 by 12 on a 37 inch tire not gonna lie that that would be a pretty sick setup that's ideally what i would want to throw my truck forward you know driving to shows like a winter setup that looks so sick and we'll get a better look at it in the daylight when we can see everything a lot better because obviously it is super grainy right now and everything so i'm really sorry oh there you go that's better some of those cnz mod wheel lights shining off on me wow that really helps with the brightness cncmods.com if you want you know the brightest wheels on the market or whatever you know but, but let's just get to it throw these wheels on there and then i guess we'll like transition to tomorrow when there's daylight and we can actually see what's going on so we got a work truck 60 power stroke here to pull the show truck 60 power stroke 60 bro is just helping each other out it even says farm truck sheesh so we're gonna uh, attempt to do a little cold start video. It's been like a month and a half. Haven't started the truck. Ma look, it'll probably blow ahead gaskets or something like that. And then we got farm truck 60 over here in the back. He's gonna tow us, 60 rows. Like I said, gotta help each other out. But let's see if it'll start and you know just blow up or something like that. It'd be kind of sick. It's supposed to do that. If your 6 out doesn't do that, I'd probably take it to the mechanic and make sure that it does do that. So we got the trans loaded in the truck. We got Jordan and Tyler strong. <laughs> was it wasn't very high. All you had to do was just, you know, it was kind of like a power clean. You just kind of had to hold it here, catch it, <clears throat> and then just press it up and load it on the truck. So it was, it was pretty easy, honestly. Now we start to drizzle. So that's really nice. Beautiful day to do this. Drive it down to my dad's house and start tearing it apart. But luckily we're in a shop, so we'll be away from the elements. So no more working on the ground in a driveway. Yeah, give him the tool. <laughs> yeah, you're, we're gonna cut this part out, right? <laughs> yeah, we can. Okay, good. Then I'm just gonna <laughs> yeah, if you guys can kind of finish, because I got some dirt on my hands, and you go inside and wash up. <laughs> no, I just don't like working. I just like watching other people do it for me. Yeah, make sure you get where it looks like you're working. Yeah, here, George. What are you doing? I'm just sitting here chilling, not doing anything. I've been sitting here on this bolt for like 15 minutes just trying to act like I'm busy. <laughs> oh, but I bust my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> so as you would all expect, this is going nice and smoothly. Not a single issue whatsoever. Uh, it's actually a, a piece of cake. I think I probably could have done this by myself in just a matter of a few hours. I mean... Holden and Tyler, I mean, they're they're helping a little bit, but honestly, I'm kind of just doing it all by myself. <laughs> I think I would definitely recommend this. Now, now I see why trans guys blow their transmissions all the time. So this is actually kind of fun. I don't see why people pay to get their transmissions pulled and put new ones in when you can do it yourself. Like, honestly, I wish I could just do it in a gravel driveway because not only would it build character, but I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. But on a real note, it's going horrible. Uh, it's a pain <laughs> in the butt. I'm actually really frustrated. Um, 
I just wanted to grab the truck and, you know, throw some gasoline in and just burn it up because uh, that's just how I am and I have bad luck at doing everything. But luckily, I do have Holden and Tyler here helping me out do a lot of this. Tyler has been um, guiding me. As usual, I try and do stuff my way and it doesn't really turn out very well. So, yeah, we just end up doing it Tyler's way because it seems to be working a lot better <laughs> than the way I do everything. So, we almost have the trans completely dropped out of the truck and then we're going to grab the other transmission jack it up hopefully put it in there and it'll be easier i don't know probably i think everyone says that it's easier to take it out than it is to put it in so that's not going to be very fun at all but we're supposed to have some help on the way with someone that's actually pulled the trans and we won't have to be youtube mechanics pulling it up wow rude <laughs> and we won't have to be youtube mechanics pulling it up every 30 seconds re-watching the video and making sure because you would think that there would be a lot of videos out there on how to pull a trans and put one in, and there is one. Shout out to that guy, at least it's somewhat, it, it, it helps a pretty good amount. There are a few little gaps in the video, but that has helped a lot. So it kind of makes you wish I had like a Dodge, you know, a Cummins, something like that, because there's probably 855 videos out there, and then, you know, Ford say, go out once in a blue moon, so what's the point of making a video when the transmissions never really go out? <laughs> but yeah, let's get back to it. This has definitely been a learning experience, and uh, I highly don't recommend uh, doing it by yourself or, you know, messing up your trance. So, yeah, just, just don't do it. The hat back in the truck so it doesn't get dirty. See, he dirties all of them. So, we got Brandon, Kimberly over here, and then a little bit of Tyler action. Holland's not doing anything, just sitting there. Being our part. He says he pays people to work on his stuff. In case you can't hear because that thing's light as hell. And then here's a, another angle. I'll show you the uh, old transmission and the transfer case. Sorry for the sound. I never heard that. <laughs> and uh, there's a little close-up action. I'll get you another angle and kind of show you. Yeah, it looks good to me. I don't see any issues there. God, that is... That's so bad. And we're hoping that the transfer case is uh, intact. We're about to find that out here in a minute. Uh, we've been having a few issues here and there, but slowly but surely, it's coming along. Yeah, if you think you're man enough. Are you girls arguing? Ratchet strap business. We just have pure American strength. I'm American. <laughs> America. I'm a Mexican. Can't be there. Why it's not? Be further back because we can't put it right in the way of it. Yeah, you can. I feel like that's like in the middle. I feel like that's, that's somewhere close to here. Oh, what's that bar right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh
a little bit here on the sides. Oh, that one fell out. Whatever. But it's it's going. So we're gonna put two more blocks underneath this motorcycle jack. I mean <laughs> transmission jack, because that's what this is. Because we when we do stuff, we do it right. So, and these are custom snap-on blocks that you can get uh, from the snap-on uh, box truck thing. And these were like 50 bucks a piece, but it's worth it. I mean, can't go wrong with buying the right tools, you know. <laughs> Far to live the lifted life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd rather much do it. Eh, I don't know. I, I think that I'd rather much do a lifted truck. And then it being lowered, we wouldn't have even had <laughs> to put these blocks, but then we wouldn't be able to get underneath it. So if you want to get two more blocks, babe, and we're going to put them underneath, or four total, two here, two there. Okay. Want me to pull it back so we'll be able to get underneath it? We're getting close. <laughs> what a lift kit. That's what you call a block lift. This is a body lift. <laughs> oh, this is going to be system. Oh, yeah, I'll let you do the shimmy and I'll just kind of hold it a little bit. It's a body lift for transmissions. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so sketchy. Are you done recording, babe, so I can stop doing something? Oh, you're still recording. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, this this is a good shot. This, this is a good shot right here. This looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, my hands are cramping. Can I get some lotion for them? Yeah, okay, sure. Thank you. Do you have a few more? Oh, they're right here next to me. I'm going to set them right there. Mm. Babe, you're looking real thick. <laughs> Like three C's or two C's? <laughs> like three, for sure. <laughs> Keep hitting my freaking head everywhere I turn around. <laughs> Probably recording my rust, too. No, I can't see it. It's, it looks black. You can't tell. All right, sick. Good. All right, I'm going to edit that out. Yeah. I think my truck's clean, so. <laughs> I'm not going to tell them it's not. hide it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to tell them it's not clean. I say thank you. You don't ever hear me say it is clean. I just say thank you. <laughs> How long do you think this took, crew? The whole job? Yeah. I don't know what time we get here. I don't know, we probably didn't start till like six. six. Yeah, at least. Yeah. And it's nine. Yeah. So in three hours, we put an entire transmission in, transfer case, front and rear drive shaft, and all we have is two bolts left over that we don't know where they go to yet, but we'll figure that out tomorrow. But it took three hours to put it together, and then what What did it take us, babe? 12 hours to take it apart? Yeah, more than 12. Like yeah. Probably like 15, yeah. I don't know. So 15 hours doing that <laughs> and then three hours to put it back in. So now I know if I ever see a good deal on a truck and all it needs is a trans, as long as it's not demolished and blown apart in a million little pieces like mine, it's probably doable. And as I said earlier, <laughs> now I see why you, you Dodge guys do it. Highly, highly recommended. It's fun. Easy process. Hey. Right, crew? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> How's it feel? Feels good to have my truck back, put back together. You gonna sleep good for one night? Maybe? But it feels a lot better to at least know that my truck's closer to getting to where it needs to be. Now we can start and finish the door handles. <laughs> and the mirrors. And the mirrors. And the powder coat. And, uh... We found a wheel company, maybe, I don't know. And I'd say we're, I'd say this, I mean, obviously this was the biggest thing. So we're probably like 60 and we're about 50% of the way, but that was the biggest thing. And I was losing a lot of sleep over that itself. So I'm really glad that we were able to actually get it knocked out. But shout out to my buddies, crew, man back here. He's hiding. Doesn't want to be on camera. I'm going to come around. Hey, I'm not hiding. I'm just not <laughs> So shout out to crew. Help me out. Tyler Bishop. Freaking tremendous help, Holden. Isaac, thank you for letting me borrow your heater. That worked very good. I'm going to bring that. That was a good one. Yeah. If you're watching this, I'm, I'm bringing that back now as we speak. So uh, <laughs> thank you for that. Thank you for the camera girl. She was. I helped. No, so she actually did help. She was turning the motor for us while we were getting the torque converter bolts because that was ticking me off. And so she, shout out to my beautiful girlfriend for Thanks. getting that done. Uh, my dad for letting us use the shop. So 
<laughs> Shout out to Kimberly and Brandon too. Brandon brought his trans jack and we're able to get it up uh, out of there. And he muscled a lot of it out too. So shout out to all you guys. Thank you a lot for your help. For those of you that are a part of this, because I've never done an actual trans before. So this kind of helped a lot having the knowledge of other people to help me figure out how to do it. So now I have a pretty good idea of how to do it. And it won't really stress me out as much if I ever get a dodge. <laughs> Just stay tuned for it, guys. The wait is going to be so worth it. Like I said, those of you guys that are here watching the YouTube channel, I'm going to release everything first here before I release it to TikTok, Instagram, wherever. You're going to see it here first because this is the main platform, as I said in the previous parts of our other videos, where I'm going to release more information. So thank you guys for watching. Be patient, and I hope this motivates you guys that feel like you're not mechanically inclined, that you can't do it. We can do it with a little bit of YouTube, some friends, and a lot of faith. Uh, because, yeah, you're, you're going to need a lot of that. So, stay tuned. This is just the beginning, and I'm excited to just drive my truck. So, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>